Hey guys, I'm Jennifer Danielle, and welcome to the Jen Danielle Experience Podcast, where I share all things planning, monetizing, and personal growth through solo travel. Today's episode is all about spending the holidays alone on a cruise. And so in this episode, I want to share with you guys what my experience has been doing this and talk about some of the hurdles that you may face if you want to do it. So buckle up and stay tuned. All right, so I wasn't really planning to do this episode, but it came to be because I created a post off the top of my head, which is normally how it goes, Um, but I created a post and it just said, welcome to the side of Instagram where we take a solo vacation for the holidays instead of dealing with complicated family dynamics. And that post has done so well and has been shared so many times. Um, So I was like, apparently this is something that a lot of people deal with. And so I wanted to just share my experience and, um, you know, what it's done for me deciding to, you know, venture away from the regular tradition and do my own thing. So first things first, I have to kind of talk about where I was last Thanksgiving and how I started doing this. And so, of course, with vacation days, um, at my job, we were able to get Thanksgiving off in the day after. And so taking off, um, well, deciding to take my vacation during that time gave me two extra days of vacation. So that was really the first reason why I decided to do it that week versus, um, you know, any other time, because the cruise I went on was on the Carnival Mardi Gras and it was a seven day cruise. And so if it were, if it was a seven day cruise, I would have had to take off, you know, an entire week of vacation. And so, um, I decided to do that instead, but I will tell you, it was so difficult for me, um, with my family piece because I felt so much guilt because I was stressed at my job. My family had, um, you know, some things going on and I'm extremely close to my family. So it was not an easy decision, but I just, at that time I was like, you know what? I just need to get away. I really need a vacation for myself. I need to just see something beautiful in the world and something different. And so, um, I decided to go ahead and book this trip Thanksgiving and just deal with the pushback. And of course, you know, everybody was kind of shocked. and like, wait a minute, you're not coming home for the holidays? And I was like, "Mm -mm, nope, going on this trip. And I remember being so afraid to tell my family and kind of holding the information until like maybe the week before I left. Um, Because the other piece was we were coming, we were still like halfway through the pandemic, which we're always through the pandemic, but (laughs) we were like halfway through, it was 2021. And so um, it was just, oh, I got so much pushback and it was so difficult. And I'm always the person that's like, well, what if I do this? And this is going to be the last time I got to spend with my family, the last time I got to do this or that. And so I felt a lot of guilt around deciding to um, take this trip. But what ultimately pushed me over the edge was just the fact that I knew that around the holidays, I deal with so much angst and Um, some of that is just from past experiences, but this time of year, it's, I don't know what it is, but I go through like a lot of sadness and depression typically, and, um, really kind of looking at my life and the biggest day for me that I like feel the worst on is new year's. And so new year's probably would have been my first choice for taking a trip, but, I just had reached a point where I was so stressed and there was so much going on that I was like, I can't wait to New Year's. I'm going to have to take this trip now. So that's how I ultimately decided to do the Thanksgiving trip. And I will tell you guys, that turned out to be the reset I needed. And it helped me, like, not even with the vlogs and, and all of the things that have come from that first trip as far as my channel, but just the person that I am and the confidence that I felt being able to spend the holidays by myself, being able to go to countries that I had never seen before by myself um, and spend those days alone, it did so much for me um, that was positive that, you know, it led to me really kind of wanting to share that information with you all. And so anybody who wants to take a solo trip and you are trying to decide, um, you know, what to do and all that, definitely reach out to me, look at my page and um, hopefully to answer your questions. But 
you can always feel free to ask me. But that's kind of how I got to that point because I just, I needed that getaway and I needed that time by myself. And what I was able to do was to really kind of like have a clear mind when I was making decisions because a lot of things, it just like when I was at home, it felt like it was so difficult to see anything better or see any opportunities just because there was just always something going on. But being that I was away from everything and everybody, it gave me this newfound um, freedom of mindset and, and it helped me to see things a little bit clearer. The second positive that came from it was that I met new friends and, you know, kind of built like this almost family on the ship. Like I literally sat down with a family I didn't know and had hibachi Thanksgiving night versus the Thanksgiving meal. And um, it just created like such a good experience. And it was just kind of funny being that I was the only one, you know, that wasn't really a part of their family that was there. And so they adopted me kind of and everything, but um, it ended up being so cool. And I will tell you guys for Thanksgiving, if you are hung up on Thanksgiving food and thinking about cruising, they apparently do serve a traditional Thanksgiving meal in the main dining room on Thanksgiving night. Now, I am not the person that's like super hung up on Thanksgiving food because I eat that year round, (laughs) to be honest. And so I can't tell you anything about it other than I've heard that it's not the best but that is available to you if you want to um, have that Thanksgiving meal during your cruise. Um, As far as what it feels like, um, is it awkward or anything being, you know, that you're on a ship by yourself when typically it's like families and everything for the holidays? For me, I'm going to say it wasn't awkward at all just because there was so much going on. You know, with Carnival, it's a party ship. And so you had people all over the place and even families that were like split and in separate areas. And so I didn't feel like an oddball or feel by myself, even though this was my first cruise, I never felt like I had to be alone if I didn't want to. And so um, that's one of the things I think you have to keep in mind, you know, around the holidays and everything is that, um, yeah, you will probably see more families, more children and all of that. But typically, they're going to gravitate towards the areas where children hang. So they're going to be in like the play areas, the kid zone and and all of that. And um, with me, I like to eat in the specialty restaurants um, versus the main dining room. And so um, the specialty restaurants, they are an additional upcharge. And so a lot of times parents don't want to pay that additional upcharge to bring their children there. So that's one way that that you can kind of avoid it. So a part of me feels like, I have had that like solo experience with the families, but then the other part of me feels like I have it because I did specialty dining so much that I never really saw, you know, a lot of families um, that were there that made me feel, you know, strange or anything for being by myself. But I highly, highly recommend that anybody who gets the chance and really wants to just um, create a new tradition for themselves. I highly recommend that you pick one holiday or one special day, even if it's your birthday, and just decide that that is going to be your trip for you. Because if you have a negative, like negative feelings that are tied to a particular day or to a time, and I know for the holidays, people go through it for different reasons, being that, you know, some people have lost family members, some people, um, you know, maybe they just have strained relationships. And I think that it's such a good thing to not get hung up on a particular day and get your feelings wrapped up in a particular day. And what I mean by that is like, if you have something that feels negative, that makes you just feel sadness on a particular day, I think the best thing you can do is to try to rewrite that history that is attached to it. And so for me, I no longer associate Thanksgiving as you know, that that stress of going to um, family or negative feelings or the biggest thing for me with the holidays was um, seeing like people getting engaged and married couples and all that, you know, as a single woman. And so for me, I no longer associate the holidays with those feelings and they're normal feelings. It's normal to feel, um, you know, like jealousy and feel, you know, a little bit of sadness when you, um, you know, aspire to be married or aspire to do something and you're seeing other people around you get that and you don't have it. 
And so instead of like feeling those negative feelings and feeling um, anything about it, like now I look forward to my trip and, you know, if that doesn't have to be what I do forever, but I will tell you, I am booked for the next two years on Thanksgiving cruises. And so um, I'm truly looking forward to it. And when I think of Thanksgiving now, I think of it as my time that I'm going to get to celebrate myself. And it's really kind of my kickoff to the year. And so it's really ironic that this channel lines up as being my one year like vlog anniversary and Thanksgiving, um, just because it, it kind of like ties in and gives me something that's really positive about this time that I'm really excited about. So um, that's just kind of my take on how I feel about cruising around the holidays. And um, hopefully I can answer any questions you guys have if you have any questions about tips or anything like that. But um, of course, I highly recommend it. I definitely will be on a cruise every Thanksgiving um, as far as I'm concerned. But if that's something that you guys want to do, be sure to let me know any questions you have about it. And I will be happy to answer. I will see you guys on the next episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace.